Here's how to add custom elements to the Confluence UI to help your users. In this example, we'll add a link to the top navigation of our Confluence, and in this case, we'll say we use this as a company intranet. And we'll do this to bring users directly to the IT service desk so they can get internal support at any time. So first, we'll log in as an administrator, and we'll navigate to the script runner section and choose Fragments. Now to add a button to the top navigation, we'll create our own custom web item. And to do that, we'll click Create Script Fragments, and then Custom Web Item. So first, let's add a note, and we'll call it IT Help Button. Next. We'll choose where we want this button to show up. I'd like to see it in the system header towards the right, so we'll choose system header right. The key is a unique identifier, so let's put in help link here. And the menu text is the button title. We'll name it IT Help. The weight field is used when there are multiple elements, It'll use this number to know which element takes precedence. We don't have to worry about that in this case. We could also add a condition so that our button only shows under certain circumstances, but in this case we want it to show all of the time so we'll just leave it blank. Next we'll choose what we want it to do when the user clicks on that button. We'll keep it as navigate to a link here, and the link itself, paste this in, this is to the IT service desk. Now we'll just click Add, and you'll see the custom web item in the list of custom script fragments here. This can be updated at any time. Now once I refresh the page, you'll see the IT Help button in the header. When you click on that button, you'll be taken to the team service desk. Mm -hmm.